What's up guys, kind of a big deal videos. If you're a new subscriber, my name is Paul. If you're a current subscriber, you probably already know that. If you're a new subscriber, uh, please subscribe. I'm trying to grow this channel and uh, I'd really like to, you know, get the subscribership up. Um, now, that said, um, I'm making a, a video today to address uh, some of the questions that have been asked under my video log series, uh, progress and recovery from my tricep, my, or my recovery video log series as of late. Usually um, in the title I have been adding BPC and TB500 uh, because I have been using those peptides for recovery, amongst other things, uh, you know, functional, uh, neurofunctional acupuncture, which has worked really well. But this video is to address the BPC157 and the TB500 and to kind of address, you know, my protocol, how I've been using it, what I've read about it, and uh, also my, you know, review on the compounds granted that I had a complete rupture to the distal uh, tricep tendon. Um, yeah, so let's start. So TB500, that's a compound that's really used to regenerate tissue. Um, you know, anything from tendons, ligaments, you name it, it's there to recover and regrow and regenerate that uh, soft tissue damage um, that you may have done in straining your muscle or straining a tendon or completely rupturing a tendon. Um, and most people will use this post-surgery. Um, it's often been used in racehorses, and that's where we get most of the data from. Um, so correction to my last video, it's not mice, it definitely is racehorses. Um, and, uh, you know, it has practical use in helping them recover so they can get back to what they do quicker. So, you know, with that, process in mind you would think that athletes would really benefit from this as well. Um, so some of the known side effects like growth hormone if you have a pre-existing or uh, a tumor or a cancer that's starting to grow it may accelerate that process um, and again that's only if you know you, you do have active so if you're you know battling something like cancer you, 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 you may have you know, been diagnosed, uh, you definitely don't want to be using this. Um, otherwise, it should be a fairly safe compound. It won't create, you know, it won't bring about cancer. That's, you know, like that growth hormone argument. And Dave Colombo has a good video uh, about the uh, topic uh, as to why, you know, it won't actually uh, start cancer. However, if you're, you know, if you have uh, cancer growing, it will accelerate that process. Um, BPC-157 is very safe from all the research I've done. Now, don't quote me on that. I encourage everyone to do their research. These are kind of gray market compounds and they can be found on peptide sites. But I wouldn't, you know, just buy them without looking into it. And just don't take my word, you know, do your research before purchasing them to repair or recover from an injury. Uh, I always encourage people to look stuff up. So, anyways. Um, BPC is really there to reduce inflammation and help the uh, muscle and tendon and all the tissues regenerate in the right order. So as you guys know, when you have an injury, you go to physio and they might do ultrasound or something um, to help that uh, those fibers kind of straighten out and grow back properly. So if you use something like BPC, hypothetically, it's supposed to make the fibers straighten out and, and, and recover properly um, by reducing inflammation and whatnot. And this also helps with joint pain and, and people who have, probably I would assume arthritis would be, um, you know, something that could be alleviated with BPC. Um, so my, my, my experience with these compounds or these peptides are that uh, it's really helped my recovery. I'm on week eight now, uh, two months. I'm benching with, uh, I'm not really using the bench, but I'm using the Smith machine over uh, 315 uh, for reps of eight or more. Um, machines I've maxed out on. I, I barely have any soreness in my, uh, in my elbow anymore. Uh, typically you're not supposed to, based on, based on the protocol my physiotherapist down, downloaded, um, you're really not supposed to even lift anything uh, until uh, week, week 12. Uh, or 14, I believe it's 14. I'd have to look at that that recovery protocol. 
Um, so I'm doing pretty okay uh, for all uh, said and done. Um, so that's my you know experience with them. The BPC, uh, I could definitely tell that it was reducing the inflammation when I would use it, even if I had a really heavy workout day and I may have agitated or exacerbated the, uh, the inflammation and the pain. If I'd use the BPC, I feel like the swelling would get reduced. It was like a good physio session. Um, you know, so I would highly recommend those if you're injured. Again, do your research. TB500 in terms of uh, dosage protocols, um, you're supposed to be pretty aggressive the first week. Um, I've read that you should use 20 milligrams. Um, and the following week, you go to 15. The following week, 10. So three to four, uh, you do 10 milligrams. Five milligrams from four to eight. And then two milligrams from like eight to 16. Just as maintenance doses. And the BPC, 200 milligrams uh, twice a day. Uh, so uh, in terms of reconstitution, uh, it, it pertains or it depends on the, uh, the vials dosage. So some come in five milligrams, some will come in 10 milligrams, some will come in 20 milligram um, of vials. So it's pretty straightforward. If it's a five milligram, you need to do 20 milligrams. Every other day you can do five milligrams and reconstitute that with some back static water. If you don't know where to find back static water, you can probably order it on the peptide sites so you won't have a problem finding them. Um, and uh, if you need to reconstitute it, I would, there's calculators online you can use, but if you have any questions, you can always uh, message me or uh, write in the comment section. We can try to figure out the math, but something you, you probably don't want to mess up on. You really can't OD or anything on this stuff, but um, it's just a tremendous uh, waste of money if you, uh, if you use too much. Especially the BPC should last you about a week if you use it all in one shot. It would be like $30, $40 down the drain for nothing. Um, yeah, so I think that's about all the information you guys need in this BPC TB500 video. Again, I'm not trying to sensationalize. Um, I'm not promoting the use of any uh, substances that are gray market. Um, I'm, I'm, I guess, spreading this message because I had a major surgery. It was a big setback for uh, someone like myself who's a competitive athlete. I consider bodybuilders competitive athletes, but you know, especially if you're you know in a big sport and you need to recover, uh, you know, you can consult your doctor. I, I told my surgeon about it, but I don't think he really knew what it was. Um, but you know, if you have a good, smart doctor, maybe they can research it. Um, I don't know, just a thought. Okay, guys, kind of big deal videos. Peace.